Hey guys, welcome. Hello, it's so good to have you here. My name is Rihanna, I'm the intern for DTI this year. It's been so fun, hasn't it? Last night was amazing, I'm so excited for another amazing night tonight. Welcome guys, we've got 11 people watching so far. Hey guys, welcome. You are here for the Youth Takeover Seminar. We're gonna have so much fun today. We've got people from all over the UK, different youth groups who are going to be joining us live. They are going to be sharing some worship songs, some of them that they've written, um, some worship songs, we're just gonna be blessed listening to them. And we've also got some people who are gonna be sharing some quick fire word with you. So we've got word and worship, so some quick fire preachers. Hey guys, to those of you who are joining, so good to have you here. If you're just joining, you are here for the Youth Takeover Seminar. It's going to be so much fun. We've got some youth from all over the UK who are going to be joining us, who are going to be sharing some worship songs with you, some of them that um, they've written, and some preachers as well, some quick fire three minute preachers, which is going to be so much fun. Hey guys, great. Well, first off, I'm going to be sharing a little word with you today. I've been so encouraged um, just writing it really and thinking about what God really wants to say to me and to you in this time. Um, so let's kick off and we can join the others in um, afterwards. It's going to be so exciting. So hey guys, if you're here, I'm Rihanna um, and we're going to be here for the Youth Takeover. Okay, so my title, um, if I was going to give it a title to this talk, is Be Still and Know, which can be found in Psalm 46. Just so exciting, it's such a great um, verse, I'd encourage you to read it. And verse one actually says this, God is our refuge and strength, always ready to help in times of trouble, so we will not fear. But I want to ask you how actually easy is it to not fear in these times of chaos, when actually we're faced with so many different things around us and we're told to not fear, it's hard, isn't it? What does this look like? I'm definitely a control freak. I don't know if some of you would agree and say that's you as well, but I like to plan for every outcome. I like to try and try and make sure that it's gonna be good. I'm like, God, I trust you. And actually, I know you're in control, but you know, just in case you're actually not, I'm gonna make sure that there's gonna be a good outcome, that I'm gonna turn it myself for my own good. But guys, sometimes you get to a place when we just can't do that. And um, I don't know about you, but the world seems pretty crazy right now, doesn't it? The world is out of control and anything that we were in control of, actually most likely we're not in control of it anymore. I was meant to be going on holiday to Italy this summer and that's not going to happen. I want to know when is my holiday going to happen? What are schools going to look like when they open? And how well am I going to be in this time? I've had times when this feeling of being out of control has left me feeling super anxious, quite panicked and I feel so small in comparison to the problem. But it later says in this passage, and this is key, so listen up, it says, the Lord of heaven's armies is here among us. The God of Israel is our fortress. And verse 10, you might have heard of this verse before, says, be still and know that I am God. But how easy is it to be still in the chaos? When is coronavirus going to end? When will things go back to normal? I wish I knew. So when we feel these questions start to crowd our mind, this verse is telling us to be still and know deep, deep down that our God is God. We can be still because we know our God and we know who he is. He is the one in control. But let's just go back to basics because I think sometimes we can forget who God is and we can start to imagine him. It's this old dude in the sky. But he's not, he's big, he's so powerful. He is a mighty God. And so when we feel small, we can know that he is the big. He made the entire universe. Have you ever thought before how light, how heat, how gravity were made? I mean, it's crazy. He made them, and best of all, he made me and you. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. I want to declare that over you today. But it's not just some nice thing to say over one another. It's so true, you are fearfully made. The human body is amazing. And while he is this amazing creator, maker of the whole world, knowing our every fear, our every worry, our highs and our lows, it says the Lord of heaven's armies is here among us. He's here among us. The Lord of heaven's armies is with you wherever you're watching from. Maybe you want to comment in the comments where you're tuning in from, but he is with you guys. He is the best protector. He's the best comforter, the best friend we can ask for. But he is also a king. He's also a ruler and he is an everlasting God. Let's not forget that. 
He is the eternal God, the Alpha and the Omega. And actually, what that means is he knows the beginning and the end. So when we don't know the end, our God does. Therefore, we can trust him. We can know that we can rely on him to bring victory because we've seen it time and time again. He always turns things for our good. Maybe you've got stories of your own of someone in your youth group who you've seen God turn the situation around for their good. But it's also all in this Bible. You can see it countless times of God fulfilling his victory, his promises to his people as he fights for them. So maybe you want to let them comfort you. Maybe you want to read them. And you want to remind yourself that when we worry, we can be still. We can know that God is God. He is the one in control. Maybe you want to take a moment now. Maybe you want to take a moment after this seminar or even tonight at Late Night Worship, little plug, it's at 10 p.m. You want to be there. But you just want to surrender all your fears to him. You want to remind yourself, spend time in his presence. Remind yourself exactly who he is. So I'm just going to finish up here and we'll get some other people on. But I want to remind you that our God is on the case. He's on the move, but he is on it. So we can be still and know. Guys, it's been so great to share that with you. I hope that has encouraged you. And um, we're just going to get Zach Carpenter on here now. So let's have a look if I can search him. And he he shared it on Monday Devotional, actually, um, a couple Mondays back. Um, sharing his word but he's actually not here to share some word today he is here to share some worship is he coming on hey can you hear me hello can you hear me? Hey, Zach. Hey. Oh, hello. Yes, I can hear you now. <laughs> hello. Hey. Sorry. I'll... Shall we move? Right. Let's see if this will look better. Hello? Talking. I don't know what that's what's going on. Might be our end. Hello? 